What is up, guys? I'm Uriel Soto, and welcome to my Elementor Extension series. Now, this is the first episode to my series. Um, I honestly don't really know what to call it. I guess I'm just going to call it Elementor Extension series. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on the name, please comment down below. But uh, in this series, I'm pretty much just going to um, review some Elementor extensions and just the ones that I find very helpful and the ones that have very unique um, extensions or, uh, or elements. So um, the one that I really like the most right now is uh, Sina Extensions. Um, it's definitely helped me out um, on some particular um, elements. And I'll be showing you guys those here in a bit. And this uh, extension is free. Uh, most of mine, pretty much all of mine, uh, all of my um, videos on featuring extensions are going to be uh, free plugins, but they are going to offer some uh, pro features as well. So um, here are some of the widgets here. Now, I'm not going to go through every single one because some of those you may find in other extensions. I'm just going to go over the ones that I find um, pretty unique. So um, and those are the ones. That I have over here. So the first one that I'm going to start with here is my um, banner slider, and you know I know it's just a regular slider here, but um, a lot of these are actually pretty cool, and I think they're really clean, um, and I just really like how these sliders look. So this is uh, this is these are definitely some good uh, sliders here. So the next one that I want to show you guys is um, this uh, video pop up which um, some some extensions do have this but I just think that just how they really presented all of these are really clean um, and I know that a lot of you guys some of you guys have asked me to do some videos on a video pop-up before and I have and I think I use this plugin as well for my video pop-up um, uh, tutorial so it's actually yeah so I mean as you can tell it's pretty straightforward um, I think it's really cool how these buttons kind of have like an animation to it so um, I hope you guys do enjoy this uh, this uh, element here. So the next one is going to be the news ticker, and um, I haven't really seen this much in too many too many uh, extensions. And I think it's pretty cool if you do have a blog website and you just want to show um, your most trending articles. So I think it's uh, I think it's definitely a really nice feature. And the next one is just a contact form. Um, I think their forms are actually pretty clean and. Um, yeah, I mean, regardless, just having a form in general is actually pretty nice. Um, I know that definitely a lot of you guys have mentioned to me um, that you want to see more tutorials on some uh, forms because uh, I know that I've done some in the past and some of them may not work that well for you. Um, but it seems that Cena Extensions here, Cena's Extra, actually has some good looking forms that you guys can use. So I might make a video on these. Um, let me know down in the comments on what, what, uh, what videos you would like to see as far as these extensions. So the next one that I want to show you guys here is uh, transform. Now this is just as a basic um, hover effect. So um, I thought this was still pretty cool. Um, it is kind of basic, but I did like look, seeing this one here. I think this is pretty cool. Just uh, looking at this here. Oh, this is kind of in like a 3D form. Um, so. And the next one is our content slider. Now I have done a video on this. This one is this one got me like when I saw this that this um, plugin had this it was actually pretty I was actually pretty amazed because um, in the past we would have to use uh, some other plugins that wouldn't work that well to pretty much um, slide our uh, Elementor templates but with this plugin here you're able to use any Elementor template and you can create that into a slider so they've pretty much done that here um, and it's you can basically slide any of your of your Elementor templates and I do have a video on this, so if you guys want to learn how to use this um, extension or this, uh, sorry, this uh, element here, um, go ahead and just uh, check out my channel. And it's probably one of the most recent videos, so you guys should be able to um, find it. If not, I'll definitely uh, just add it in the description. So the next one that was really cool is a uh, particle layer. So I have done videos on a particle layer before. Usually we would have to go to some website and we would have to grab the particle code and then we would have to add the code in there. But with this extension, it automatically already comes in for you. So you don't got to do any of that. You just got to you just got to install the plugin and um, use this widget here and you'll be good to go. 
So um, if you guys do want me to make a video on this, definitely just comment down below and I'll probably end up uh, making a video on this one. I have actually been thinking about it because this one does make things a lot easier. Um, so I'll definitely be doing that in the future. Um, and then the other one, and this one is pretty cool because I honestly have not seen this anywhere on any um, extensions. Uh, so I honestly thought this was pretty amazing. Um, it is free at the moment. I did see on their website here. So if I were to scroll down, it is all the way down here at its extenders. And this one is uh, called the Morphing Animation. And it is free at the moment, but I don't think it's going to be free for long. Um, but maybe you guys can get it in there um, in time. So uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's just this little animation at the background. It just kind of moves around. Uh, I think it's a really cool effect. So um, hopefully it doesn't slow down your website. I haven't seen how much of the page speed is. Kind of would be, kind of would be nice to test that out before because that's always very important. But still, I mean, the website did still load pretty fast, so I don't think it's um, that much of an issue. And then the next one here is the water um, ripples, which this one is on the pro version, I believe. I'm not really 100% sure, but it is a new feature that they added. Um, so. And I do think that's pretty cool, honestly. I've not seen that really anywhere. Um, so if you guys do want to get the pro version, I would definitely uh, definitely consider checking this one out. Um, let's see. And now I'm just going to go over some few ones that I actually just saw right now. So I just, I just noticed a parallax. I know how much a lot of people like the parallax. Um, so I'm just going to go through this last, um, last uh, element here. And I'm going to check these out. Let's see. More demos. Um, so let's do this foggy one here. Okay. Okay. So that's pretty, actually, you look at that, the mountains move in the background. You see how they're all kind of moving. That's actually really cool. See how right here it moves. Yeah. So this is, this is a really, this is actually really cool. Might make a video on this one. So I might end up having to get the pro version. Cause I think that's pretty cool. I haven't seen that. Um, I know that this you can do with, um, Elementor, so it's, that one doesn't really surprise me that much. I did like the mount, but maybe you can do that with Elementor as well. Um, yeah, you, maybe you can, but I really like how they did this. I think that's really cool. Let's see here. Okay, this is kind of nice as well. Um, wonder what these are though, more demos. So I think these are just their templates that they have. Yeah, and this is a pretty clean template here. Oh, and they also move around too, so that's kind of nice. I know you can do that with Elementor Pro as well. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you guys have any recommendations on the on what um, Elementor extensions I should review next, go ahead and comment down below. If you did really enjoy this video and you do want to see more videos like this, um, please make sure to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And if you guys have any, um, any, any comments on anything, just make sure to comment down below and hopefully I can help you guys out. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in the next video.